Hello and welcome to my status update from learning uh, of learning of Unity 3D, where I show my results of learning Unity 3D. <laughs> so basically, I should mention that I am doing the video course of Jonathan Weinberger, and the stuff which you will see, the assets are provided by the Jonathan Weinberger. He has a Udemy course. You, if you're interested, I will post it. It will be available under my video in YouTube. So let's just show you my next prototype, which I have built. Next advancement. So made with Unity, of course. And this is a kind of old classic game. Once again, the assets were provided by Jonathan Weinberger. And the source code was provided by Jonathan Weiberger. Uh, I done some refactoring, some software uh, improvement uh, design on this game, some sort of an optimization, and uh, yeah, I built the game, of course, and I learned how it works. I wired all the stuff, I analyzed the code. Let's just look it up. So basically, I have here collisions, I have here uh, events, even when I each time uh, catch a um, power-up, then my main player ship is updated. And what I need to tell you, it took me almost one week to get it running to the optimal way together with all of, all of the all of the post uh, processing stuff and, uh, one notable thing which I want to tell I have so I did have some problems for example uh, if I need a webgl version of this game it's kind of um, for no particular reason uh, build break up uh, and when I do new project, empty new project with Unity 2019, it works, but then I have no real assets to show you when I do new project, empty project, what I mean. But I think this is actually a problem uh, when you work alone on some project, you need always clean up your stuff and maybe I did not clean up well my stuff be able to produce um, the, uh, yeah, the, the build for the web, but on Windows it works pretty well, so the game is 100% functional. Once again, this is only a prototype, not complete game. Uh, I have no plans to release the source code because what, what, once again, the source code is not mine, it's most of the time most percentage of the code was delivered to me by the author of this project, Jonathan Weinberger. What I, I personally done, I just optimized the code to make it suitable for my kind of, of case. But still, for me it's still a unique experience and I always love to work uh, on hands-on mentality. People with less academic uh, view of how to teach more like uh, to teach people in craftsmanship way so programming it's a craftsman uh, craftsman's work not always some sort of uh, science is involved but still it's still hard to work so to speak and basically that's it uh, what you can expect in the future In the future, I, I need to still uh, to finish this course from Jonathan Weinberger. I have to uh, have plans to create uh, a learning project, a 3D project from this guy, mentor, I would say. And then um, from the from when I show you my next build, uh, next prototype, I will start to work on my own project. Basically, then I hope to be able, like, 
one to two weeks provide some sort of progress of how exactly my game is going what I achieved what I need to improve in my game what my plans for the future of the development of my own game so stay tuned and thank you for watching bye bye